deal the cards. Come on, George, you're still in the game. Two queen. Two pair. Three nines. Pair of eights. Three fives. Pair of ten. Totally ludicrous. We got a good group here. We got a good thing going, and I'm not going to let you guys louse it up. Man, everybody played the game. Everybody had the same chance. Forget the game. It's over. George, I played and I lost. Yeah, she lost. Oh, yeah, George, she lost. She she lost. I'm sorry. It's my group, and I'm putting my foot down. That's it. a little harmony for it now. It helps it a lot. Yeah. Hey, this looks good. Hmm. hmm. How was that mass media test? Did you talk a lot about mixing? Yeah. It was easy. I didn't even study for it. I have a chemistry test at two. How come you take such hard classes? Well, I have to take chemistry. That's what my scholarship's for. Oh, that's the MIT one? Do you really like chemistry? I mean, you know, all that boring. And... <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's all right and everything. My dad's a chemist. Ah. Um, George, if, if we're going to do harmony, I need to practice. I am so lost on that stuff. All right, we'll work on it next rehearsal. Well, let's get together before then and run it through a few times. Sure, it sounds great. When do you want to do it? How about tonight? I'll work till 8. 8.30. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> great. I guess it's awfully hard to get that first job, you know. Yeah, but I think the battle of the bands is really going to help. Oh, I hope so. I'm really psyched about it. Me too. So how's this band doing? Compared to the other one you were in, you know, the same stage and everything. Well, great. My brother's band, we were getting jobs and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Besides that, I mean, just like... How do we sound? You can't compare them. See, my brother's band, we played, um, Top 40. You know, hit. Yeah. Nobody was riding it. Well, that's the fun of it, though, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Well, if 
better get going. I gotta get up for school tomorrow. We should do this again sometime. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe you and I could uh, go out sometime. Maybe uh, go to a movie or get something to eat. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like that. Great. Well, I'll see you later. When? Well, tomorrow at school. No, I mean the date. <laughs> oh, um, sometime next week? How about Friday? Yeah, sure. Friday's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. got a car. Not bad either. It was good acting and everything, but I don't know. At first he was such a... He was completely out of it. Well, yeah, at first. Well, that's what I mean. It wasn't realistic. <laughs> I mean, how could a guy like that ever turn out to be so fantastic? Well, because he, I don't know, because he got his act together. I like that. But it never happened. Never. Okay, but your average loser doesn't usually completely change. Well, maybe not. See, I just, I don't know. It's kind of nice to be able to think that, even if it's a long shot, that a guy who isn't doing so hot can turn it around. I mean, I don't know. What? Like our band. Now, we're long shots, but... What if we actually won that battle on the bands? I like to think that stuff like that can happen. Yeah. And I do. I do think that. I do too. And then in, in junior high, I got like really muscle oriented. <laughs> I took Kung Fu for a while, but this older guy got ticked off and almost broke my neck. <laughs> so I stayed away from that. <laughs> the next big step was pinball. You know that place, Fun Town? You hung out there? Constantly. Oh, I, was, no. I was like, uh, I was the house pro. I really thought I was going to, you know, get into the professional pinball league. I didn't know they had that. They don't. <laughs> I, thought they I, like, I spent six months doing that. One more of the George Smalley blunders. You always put yourself down. It's terrible. Well, not a heck of a lot to cheer about. Well, come on. You're a good musician, and you've done a great job getting the band together. So quit putting yourself down, at least around me. All right? Got it. <laughs> I'll walk you to the door. No, no, you're not going to walk me to the door. I don't mind. No, I believe you. I'll be all right. I'm not going to get mugged. <laughs> well? Thanks a lot for picking me up, though. <laughs> Thanks for the date. I had a really nice time. Yeah? Yeah. Brenda, could we... Would you mind if we just switched seats for a minute? <laughs> what? Well, you see, I'm over here on this side, and uh, I'd like to kiss you goodnight. But it's a lean to the left, is what it is. And that just seems a little awkward. I mean, I'm sure I'd be a lot better if I was leaning to the right. But the left lean... The left works. Hey, 
Uh, cop and candy man. Wait a second. I want to see what you got here. Step right up here. Is this this guy small? He's really hot new rock band. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us real soon, man, or you'll be a baboon. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. These guys are really serious musicians. Tell us, Corky, what's your instrument? Hey, man, he's the drum. <laughs> I'm the manager. Uh, you're the guy who booked him into the Battle of the Bands, right? Yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> you're gonna waste all that gas, go all the way out there just to get yourselves creamed against the wall? <laughs> Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. Can we have a nice welcome for Cotton Candy? Please 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have now completed the preliminary portion of Owl Sound Center's third annual Battle of the Bands. The finals are going to be this evening at 7 o'clock and we'll have four groups competing. They include returning champions, Rapid Fire, plus the following three groups the judges have selected. Heavy Revolution, Patty and the Fox, and Cotton Candy. to the finals of the third annual Owl Sound Center Battle of the Bands. We're ready to get underway right now with a brand new group. Give them a nice welcome, Cotton Candy.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. They've been champions for the last two years in a row. Here they are, the incredible Rapid Fire! that rapid fire, led by that flashy and polished Torben Biquette, swept through the final... Swept? Doesn't say one lousy thing about us making the finals, about the way we played, but nothing. We got ripped off. Oh, hey. now, wait a minute, wait a minute. The crowd clearly came to see rapid fire, and particularly Torben Biquette, who looks as though he may jump from the local scene directly to rock stardom. Rock stardom? We did well. Yeah, we did great, but who's going to know about it? Rock stardom. I can't believe it. Well, don't worry about it. Well, at least we got to play in front of all those people. That was really great. You know, about halfway through the second set, I was looking around, checking people out, and they were really liking us. My band. <laughs> ah, great. There he is, Mr. Rock stardom himself. I'll tell you one thing, he might hop around on stage pretty well, but we outplayed those clowns. And we can do it again any day of the week. Ah, I can't go to school. I feel like cutting. You're not gonna cut. Especially not government. Now get going, I gotta finish putting these up for Mrs. Trempy. thought I'd tell you I had my eye on you the other night. I really kind of dug what you were doing there. Thank you. That's okay. Listen, you want to hop on the bet? We can go over a little business. What business? Well, you know, I was checking you out there the other night, and I'm saying to myself, man, you've got to get this chick. So I want you to join Rapid Fire. How about that? It's horrible. No, listen, we'll have two drummers. It'll blow everybody away. I like the band I'm in. Oh, no, come on. You call that a band? You know, if you were with Rapid Fire, people would hear you for a change. You know, you'd be making a little bit of bread. You'd be making a lot of bread. We got money gigs every week. I'm really not interested. And since you'd need some breaking in, you know, I'll be spending a lot of time with you myself. Torben, I wouldn't join your band if my life depended on it. Wow. 
Last night? He called you last night, too? Yeah, I can't get into blowing my butts on this. Don't worry about it. If he calls again, I won't even answer the phone. These cards are key. You hand them out, you stick them in the lockers, you, you put them in the bathrooms. And... Bathrooms? And if I see them, I'll just... Jerk. You don't like it, fine. Then get off my case about getting gigs, because the number one rule is you got to advertise. You can't get, let that idiot get you He's all... pushing it, Brenda. He's really pushing it. All right, you make us some bread, and I won't say nothing about these fruity little cards, all right? Hey, George... Will you guys lighten up about the cards? Great new idea to make you be in my band. I don't want to be. You're gonna love it. I want you to go out with me, then you'll find out how really irresistible I am, and then you'll have to join Rapid Fire. Buzz off. I've had it with you, Paquette. Get out of here. Georgie, I was just talking to your drummer here. She doesn't want to talk to you. Look, why don't you give the girl a break and let her be in a good group for a change? I don't want to talk to you either. Come on. No. Look, jackass, I was just feeling sorry for her because she's stuck in a group with a bunch of retards. Shut up, Paquette. Oh, Georgie, don't make me too nervous. Here, wipe this off. surprise you later on, but hang on a second. Meet me around back. Okay. Okay. Frank, I'm taking my break now. Okay. What'd you do this for? Well, uh, kind of an anniversary present. I figured it out and we've been going together for exactly two months. Like it okay? Like it. I love it. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. I've got this song. It's just a little tune that I'm working on, and I never really wrote anything like it before, but let me play it for you, okay? <laughs> 